Hello viewers, you're watching Fantasy Photon. We'll go ahead and pick fantasy team of an upcoming clash that is going to take place between two giants of a team, which is India and England. We'll be locking horns against each other very soon for the third test match. Uh, so we'll go ahead and pick the fantasy team for this. Uh, but before that, I would request you to join our Telegram channel for final head-to-head -head or SLGL teams, as well as you can subscribe our channel so that you get a notification whenever we have an update, okay? Before we move ahead and talk about the pitch and other technicalities, so talking about the technicalities, we'll start uh, with the pitch. The pitch where the this particular clash is going to take place is Sardar Patel Stadium, which is often known as Motera Stadium, uh, which will have a clearer sky. The temperature would be around 35.1 degrees Celsius. The average score on this pitch is 338 runs. Pitch behavior is it is a batting pitch. And talking about the injury concerns, no such major injury concerns as of now. Shubman Gill is also fit. He's definitely going to play the third test match, as, as was discussed in the report uh, circulated a few days back. And the power player would be Ishan Sharma, Virat Kohli, Ravi Chandan Ashwin. So you, you basically can shuffle the players so you can pick all of them it depends on your permutations and combinations okay so we'll start uh, with the wicket keeping section but before that i would request you to join our telegram channel for final head to head or slgl teams as well as you can subscribe our channel so that you get a notification whenever we have an update okay so we'll start uh, with the wicket keeping section uh, the wicket keeping section option would be rishabh pant and the reason why i'm picking rishabh pant is because of his stats so if you look at rishabh pant's uh, performance i think it has been phenomenal throughout this particular series and it has been going from border gavaskar series on Okay, so Rishabh Pant, if you look at his stats, I would really like to tell you about his stats in the two test matches in this tournament. So the first innings that he played, he scored 91 runs uh, in the first test match. The second inning scored 11 runs. Uh, second match, uh, second test match, first inning scored 58 runs in the first innings, and then he scored eight runs. So if you look at the permutations combination, look at his entire combination, he's doing really well with the bat as well as he has improved himself with the glove. So yes, compared to Ben Fox, I feel that Rishabh Pant knows the conditions really well and he's doing really well. So definitely he deserves a chance in the playing 11 moving to batting section i have gone for four batsmen and I'll start with Joe Root. And the reason why I picked Joe Root is because I see that other batsmen are quite struggling on the subcontinent condition. Is the only batsman who has been the lone warrior for England that has been Joe Root. He he's definitely getting some sort of support from Ben Stokes and other batsmen in bits and pieces. But Joe Root is it's been magnificent, outstanding throughout this particular series. Look at his uh, stats in the two test matches. So first innings uh, that he played in the first test match against India and this particular recently series which is going on has scored 218 runs. Uh, second innings scored 40 runs uh, in the second test match first inning score six runs and the second test match second inning he scored 33 runs so he minded he scored 33 runs in a pitch which was turning which was something in the favor of indians and also he scored this 33 runs where other batsmen really struggled bearing uh, moin ali so definitely you need to pick joe root he's definitely in sublime form and he deserves a chance at the playing 11. the other three batsmen that i've picked i'll definitely put their st uh, stats in front and the reason I'll, i would definitely give that why did i pick them first is shubman gill uh, the second one is virat kohli and the third one is rohit sharma so Shubman Gill, if you look at his stats, Shubman Gill has been doing really well. He's got good confidence from the management, it seems, when he comes out to bat. And uh, he scored 29 runs in the first test match, in the recently concluded first test match against England. Uh, in the second innings of the first test match, scored 50. Uh, second uh, test match, first innings, scored 0 runs. But in the second innings, he scored 14. He is a good player, he's a compact player. He needs to be given a couple of chances before you ultimately come to a conclusion. He's a good player and he deserves a chance. So go for Shubman Gill and he's also fit. So definitely it's a chance that he's definitely going to open with Rohit Sharma. And then talking about Virat Kohli, what can you talk about a man who's touted as the world's uh, current, uh, or you can say the modern great uh, in terms of batsmanship is concerned. And if you look at his record, uh, look at his stats basically, if I would I would just put it like this. So 11 runs in the first innings of the first test match. Uh, in the second innings of first test match, scored 72 runs. Second test match, first inning, 0 runs. Second test match, second inning scored 62 runs. Definitely deserve a chance. He's been doing really well. And he often said in his interview also that if he fail in one of the innings, he makes sure that he understand what his mistakes are and he come back very strong in the second innings. And that's what he's doing. Talking about Rohit Sharma, Rohit Sharma was criticized for his first test match. Uh, the way he played, he scored six runs and 12 runs in both innings. But in second test match, he scored runs on that particular track where other batsmen really struggled in the first inning, scored 161 runs, which was absolutely astounding go for him. And uh, the second Second innings, he scored 26 runs, but he's a world-class batsman, world-class batter. He knows the conditions really well, and he can unsettle any bowling bowling lineup. Basically, I would I would put it like this. So go for Rohit Sharma as the other batsman. And talking about the all-rounder section, gone for three all-rounders, starting with Ben Stokes. 
Would I pick Ben Stokes because he's not just the world's greatest all-rounder, but his stats basically suggest it. So the first test match scored 89 runs in both innings. The second test match scored somewhere around, okay, he struggled with about 26 runs, but he took some wickets, outstanding fielding. is a package, is a dynamite, go for him. The the two all-rounders that have gone for is Akshar Patel and Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Talking about uh, Patel, if you look at pa- Patel, did not play the first test match. Okay, so there is no point of discussing about him. But in the second test match, he took uh, five wickets and two wickets. Uh, and then, then uh, you can see that the Pfeiffer was there in the second inning so definitely you can see the caliber that he has the caliber that he possesses as a spinner uh, that really really uh, comes out in his favor so go for him and then is Ravi Chandran Ashwin who has basically surprised everyone with his batting uh, those who don't know about his stats he already scored four test hundreds before scoring the fifth one in Chennai in the second innings so go for Ravi Chandran Ashwin he's been outstanding and uh, he scored I would I would say that he scored 106 runs in the second innings uh, of the second test match and he's been doing really well with the bat contributing uh, continuously chipping with the wickets five six wickets on an average in every test match that he's playing in India so go for Ravi Chandran Ashwin let's talk about the bowling section there are three bowlers that have gone for Bumrah is definitely there Bumrah did not play the second test match because the proper rest was allotted to him so that he can just recover in time and come back stronger in the second test match so uh, so in the third test match uh, so go for Bumrah because he knows the conditions really well it is his home ground and he knows that how he has to unsettle the batsman so Bumrah I recall has been phenomenal in the first test match that he played he took some wickets three wickets he contained some run he stuck up to its line in length so definitely Bumrah deserve a chance here and there are two spinners that have gone for one is Dom Bess and Jack Leach I think uh, England the management uh, must have thought about not uh, basically putting Dom Bess uh, on the on the basically bench uh, they would have they would have basically request uh, the management not to take such kind of steps and they really want Dom Bess to come out and just play for them because he has done really well in the first test match and I don't know why did he why was basically kept aloof in the second test match so he did really well so Dom Bess deserve a chance here and then there is Jack Leach and why I'm saying Jack Leach because I can I can see that if there is no more Ali. I think he has to handle the responsibility very well. He has to uh, lead as a lead spinner for the team. And uh, looking about his, his stats about Jack Leach, he took two wickets in the first innings, first test match, second innings, four wickets, second innings, uh, and second innings of the second test match took four wickets and second innings of the first test match took three wickets so definitely he deserve a chance here because he's been taking consistent wickets in every test match that he played in this uh, against India so he deserve a chance in the playing 11 talking about the captain as well as vice captain captain will be Virat Kohli because of his consistency because he fades very rarely and if he fails he comes back really hard in the second inning so now go for Virat Kohli as a captain vice captain will be Ravi Chandran Ashwin he's in a, in a, in a you can say great form and uh, the someone who's in great form you need to back them up so captain Virat Kohli vice captain Ravi Chandran Ashwin and this is the fantasy team of an upcoming clash between India and England third test match I hope you love this video if you love this video share this video subscribe this channel so goodbye for now till we meet for the next video